This podcast is intended for educational purposes only. For our full disclosure, please visit nc-midwifery.com and our podcast page. Well, welcome back to season two of More About Birth here in the studio with our hosts, Shannon Bennett and Angie Hansen, and they have a special guest today. Before we introduce her, let's remind you that this is available on YouTube at More About Birth, Shannon Bennett, as well as multiple audio locations. Hey, ladies. Hi, we are back with More About Birth, and as you can see, we all have our babies. I don't have a baby. This is your baby too. This is okay. Zoe and she's very wiggly squiggly. We told you that we'd introduce our new fur baby this week. Hey so, Zoe. This is Zoe. I don't know what Angie's got over here. This thing ain't even real. <laughs> hey. And we'd like to introduce you to Dot Mitchell, a friend of ours, and her little baby Tommy. And she's here today to talk to us about baby wearing. And I'm super excited about it. And I know Angie and I have a lot of questions. So um, Zoe, you're going to go play with daddy. Go get daddy. <laughs> All right. I'm babyless. She doesn't really want to leave. <laughs> I'll share. I'm babyless. That baby is not real, our, Angie. Our dog is part of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you see her coming and going, it's okay. So, you are a part of a group um, called... The Carrying On Project. The Carrying On Project. And you can actually contact you and find out even more about this group than, than we will talk about today mm -hmm. on Facebook. What is your Facebook page? Um, it's TCOP Mid Columbia Baby Wearing. Okay, we'll have Keith put that up on the screen. I just think it's fascinating wearing babies. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Wearing babies. If this is baby wearing. Some people get really confused when they hear the term baby wearing. They're like, what are you? Uh -huh. Wearing your baby. Wearing your baby. <laughs> so yours looks real. Angie's doesn't look quite real. No. Uh, we just have him really well trained. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me how to do that for the dog? <laughs> Turn. Look, look into the camera. So why in the world do we want to wear our babies? There's a million reasons to wear your baby. So this week I have worn my baby even more than normal because mm -hmm. he's been teething. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great way to help um, fussy babies to okay. calm down. And so there's less crying. He's been a lot happier up here. Um, another great thing is it gives me my hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I am a mom of four and working with my six-year-old on the virtual school has been mm -hmm. so much Yay. fun <laughs> with a fussy baby. Yay. So I put him in my wrap and then okay. I still have my hands free and I can work with my six-year-old. Wow. Perfect. So this is a online school tool. <laughs> yes. Online For school mom. tool. Wear your baby. Can you wear your preschoolers? <laughs> <laughs> you can, can but <laughs> they do have baby carriers in toddler sizes and preschool sizes. Wow. So really? um, some people I didn't know that. Yeah. Especially kids that have disabilities, um, it can be especially helpful for. Oh, that's exciting. Well, Angie, you wore your babies a lot. I mean, it's been 20 years since I wore <laughs> a baby. Um, you even brought a couple of your favorite slings with you today. So yeah. I think um, we're going to do some demonstrations and have Dot show us how to wear different types of slings. And... And she has her baby, so maybe she can show us a few things. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about the benefits okay. of baby wearing. So go ahead and tell us, why would we want to wear our baby? So um, one interesting thing that I just read about um, this week is that baby wearing can actually decrease postpartum depression. And wow. part of that has to do with um, hormonal the oxytocin, because when you have your baby right here close to you, you're, pro mm -hmm. you're producing more oxytocin, mm -hmm. more of that bonding <coughs> hormone. So it's great for bonding. Love it. And it also um, helps build confidence because your baby tends to be less messy. <laughs> Although, <laughs> yeah. but that's only because of the timing, right? Yeah. On the set, the camera, so lots of lights. Set, well, and he's teething. So there's that too. So what are some other benefits? Um, let's see. It's great for bonding. And part of that is that your baby is right here. And so you interact with your baby a mm -hmm. lot more. You talk to your baby throughout the day, whatever you're doing. And you 
you know, your baby is mm-hmm. experiencing what you're experiencing. Mm-hmm. And so you're going through that together and talking and bonding, which is good for the baby's learning and good for the bonding. Right. If you need to stand up and bounce, feel free. That yeah. might work better. Yeah, feel free. He's used to being standing. This, uh, this is laid back. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else is there? Um, it's good for your posture and for the baby's posture. So while you're wearing your baby, this helps build their torso strength and their neck strength. Well, and we like, kind of have to stand up nice yes. and tall. And yeah, where you're with this wrap, I have it supporting all the way down and around my mm-hmm. body. And so as I'm using good posture, that spreads that weight, which makes it easier to hold them. Mm. And so it's good for mom's body posture and torso um, strength and for the baby's body posture and torso strength, just like um, with tummy time. So, yeah. We had a wayward pacifier. (laughs) (laughs) All the time. Angie and I were talking earlier. Angie, tell her what we were talking about as far as um, one of the ways to have hands free is to wear your babies on your back, which makes us think about the history of baby wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just talking about um, the cultures that are so good at doing this, you know, that it's to them, it's second nature to strap their baby on their back and just keep Mm -hmm. doing their work. And I was saying, I really want to master that trick that, you know, that, that way of doing it, because I have carried my babies a lot, but I have not done that especially with a small baby so if I ever have another one or just with my special little model here um I would really love to master that and Dot was saying that she does that and knows how to do that so I think that's super We're cool have, to have you show us with the model baby just in case it's a fail <laughs> <laughs> well so baby wearing has been around forever I mean like across cultures you see it in, in indigenous cultures and in Asian cultures and um, in Hispanic cultures, like pretty much across the world. Well, I always think world. about the papoose board with the Indians, you know, mm-hmm. I was, even when I was a little girl, I thought that was so A cool papoose board. To well, wear your baby. Forgot about that. Yeah. Even huh. locally, we have a statue of Sacagawea and she has a baby strapped mm-hmm. to her back. Mm-hmm. Um, so wow, that's, that's kind cool. of fun. And so like, it's, it's been around for forever and it just gets easier and easier because in In the past, people had to just mostly just use cloth. And nowadays we have rings to make this into a ring fling so I don't have to tie it and buckles and all kinds of different things. And so So what about the safety? Angie, do you remember reading a while back? There was kind of some stuff going around about be careful with your babies in slings because babies have suffocated. Mm Mm-hmm. So. Right, which I think deters people from mm-hmm. wanting to do that, especially with their little, little babies. I mean, you do have to be careful of their airway, right? But mm-hmm. moms have been carrying their babies like this, like we just said, forever and ever um, mm-hmm. without issue. So tell us a little bit about that, the airway things that you have to watch for. And is it okay to carry your baby from day one? So absolutely. You can start carrying baby from day one, even premature babies, if they're not like, if you're able to, to hold them you pretty much can wear them. Um, It is important to make sure that you know how to use your baby carrier correctly and um, the safety tips that I'm gonna teach you real quick. A couple ways to find out, um, you can YouTube videos, there's a lot of YouTube videos, but there's also a lot of places that you can go to learn. So like at the Carrying On Project, we have a couple of people that are um, trained in safety. Did you hold your hand out? Yeah. And so I, I can take him for you. Hey, hey. where's that pacifier? I probably should get it rinsed off, huh? Okay. Okay. So at the Carrying On Project, we have educators that can help you learn how to use your carrier safely. Mm -hmm. Um, You can look at YouTube. Another great resources resource is finding a small mom and pop shop that sells baby carriers. Hmm. And usually those people do know we have how. any of those in so, Tri Cities right now? I know Swanky Babies. Swanky Babies is, is gone, gone, but she was great. Um, Sassafras does carry okay. carriers, and I believe that she knows um, at least some about mm-hmm. using those carriers. Do you um, know any others? I don't. Yeah, the, that, okay. I think that's the only one that I know of that sells baby carriers besides the big box stores. Right. So you have so some I do have tips some safety tips. Us. This I'll give this to. Um, we'll give it to Keith so we can Keith have so it on the, the sure. page on the web page. For, yep. for download. Then go on the web page to download it. 
-hmm. Okay, and that's ncmidwifery.com. And it's on the screen. And um, so you can use the acronym TICS to help you remember these safety things. So one thing is you want your baby to be tight to you. So when you lean forward, your baby shouldn't fall away from you. I do support his head, but your baby's not going to fall away from your body. So tight, you. tight to your body. Um, I is in view at all times. So you don't want to put your baby in the sling and have his head inside the sling so that you can't see him. Hmm. That's a, that's a concern for his airway. So you want your baby to be in view at all times. Now, when you're wearing your baby on your back, that's a little bit different, but his head is still, <laughs> baby's head is still out and, and like can be seen. Um, close Makes enough sense. to kiss. So I can kiss my baby. Um, when you have your baby close enough to kiss, um, it's easier to be aware of your baby's breathing and easier to keep his chin off of his chest, which is the next one. <laughs> his chin off of his chest so when um when baby's chin drops to their chest that cinches their airway um so i had trouble with that in the ring sling 20 years ago when i tried to do the lying down position mm -hmm. right so i always felt like you had to roll up a, a diaper or something and put kind of right behind yeah. the lower neck so you, to you do need to be happening. careful when doing it in what you're talking about. And maybe that's not even safe. I mean, you can do the cr it's like the a cradle, cradle right? hold. Mm -hmm. Your baby's head should still be but outside of the carrier. Still. If you have the baby's head in the carrier, you're more likely to have breathing issues. Mm -hmm. So you keep baby's head because out of the carrier. He's lying back and now he's got now. both feet over here and he's lying back. And this can be great for nursing. It can be great for sleeping. That is the greatest benefit of all of baby carriers, right? Oh, right. Yeah. Nursing mm -hmm. on the go. Um, so, ring slings are actually my favorite for nursing on the go. Hmm. So I guess we just have one more. Right. Um, the last one is supported back. So baby's backs are naturally curved and you want their back to stay in that natural curve shape. Hmm. And so you don't want to be tightening your carrier so so tight that it pulls their back. So they're like out of in that a straight curve. line. Yeah. You don't want them in that. Okay. It's tight enough that it's supporting their back, but it's not pulling them out. And it does need to support them well enough that they're not slumping. I think when I a baby wore my slumps, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. It's, yeah, it's too late now. Sorry, kids. That explains a lot. They look so happy. So yeah, you want their back supported well enough that they can breathe. Because when their back's not supported, then they'll they'll roll into each other into themselves and yeah. that can This is really way. good. So if they're sleeping, is it important to have them in that position? If they were nope. napping? No, either way, huh? No, whatever is more comfortable. I actually don't ever wear my babies this way. Okay. I almost always have them in this position. Mm -hmm. And even when they fall asleep, I'm gonna fix his seat a little bit. Um, even when they fall I asleep. Just ah. under his bum, so he's yep. kind of in a That's sitting position. That's what keeps him in, is this fabric is up between him and me. And like, he's not going anywhere. Wow. And then if he falls asleep and needs a little rest behind his head, I can just roll that over. Uh, and he's got uh, a little help. Crafty. Tricky. Or if I'm nursing, I can use that to wow. cover myself. I didn't know what I was doing, literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, Angie, you brought a couple of slings. That were your favorite. Tell us why. Well, I can tell you about it. I don't have it. It's in the other room. But oh. so mine is a style that has an extra padding right here. It's the same ring sling, but it has extra padding. And then my favorite feature is it has a zipper pouch right here. So when my baby was the right age, I would carry him in this face him facing out kind of Indian style. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and then I can just put my little wallet and my phone in my wrap oh, nice. and just mm -hmm. cruise into the store and that way you've got hands free to you know keep track of the other kids you don't have a purse or a diaper bag or anything it's just your little things that you need right in this pouch and you're ready to rock and roll and so that was one of my of that one? that's a maya wrap it's actually a ring sling but it's called maya wrap and okay. um that's that's my go-to that was my favorite i just loved that feature with the pocket in the front mm -hmm. and it was so how perfect. many different ones did you have when you were using them i have three different wow. ones so that yeah. was the third one you found that you liked don't ask me that <laughs> i think it was my <laughs> second they all kind of do different things you know some of them are different good for different ages and some of them are good for different outings depending on the type of you know wearing that you're doing so 
Wow, that's fascinating. Which is actually a good time to bring up the fact that how many slings did you say this group owns? Oh. So our, I have four suitcases, large suitcases four in suitcases. my garage of carriers. There's a, that's amazing. <laughs> there's approximately a hundred different carriers. Um, no, are these all yours available. or your groups? These are the groups. Okay. So different they brands. Don't belong to me. Different brands, that's different crazy. types of carriers. Several. But different you don't brands. have a clue how many you have. How many I have yeah, personally? personally? I. <laughs> uh, like a woman in her true fabric. Yeah, it's like, of, yeah. it's like how many pairs of shoes do you have? <laughs> Pretty much. That's I think classic. I have more baby carriers than shoes. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. I think I've got about 10. Wow. I think I've got about 10 carriers that are my personal carriers. See, huh. that's okay when you're the expert. You got to try them all. Exactly. Up. So, well, and why? I like different carriers with different babies. So, yeah. I, oh. I mean, ring sling's been pretty much, I like it across the board. Mm -hmm. For some things, I don't want to hike in this. Exactly. Because it's all on one shoulder. And as my babies get a little bigger, having it all on one shoulder is not always yeah. great. So I, and different babies have liked different styles and they're different sh like shapes and sizes. And so, so tell us why the group has all these slings and how does that benefit us in the community? So the point or is- those of you that have babies, I guess. <laughs> like Angie. <laughs> like this one. Yeah. So part of it is just, the education piece. So if somebody wants to know what carrier they should go out and buy, they can come and try on carriers. And they can try the Lilla Baby, and they can try the Ergo, and they can try the Infantino. Those are brands that a lot of people And you'll know. help them. And we have them, and we will help these? them try them on. They can wear it around and try it and see if they like it. And if they want to try it more than just for the meeting, they can rent it and take it home for... And a month. rental, what does that look like? So we have two options for rentals. There's a one month rental, which is $5 for one month of one carrier. Just $5, $5. that's wow. incredible. So do you have a YouTube channel too, did you say? We don't have a YouTube channel. We do have a website and we have a Facebook page. Okay, so then you said there's videos but available online. there's a online lot of on videos online. Oh. Um, there's a lot of different people that do them. A month for $5, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's phenomenal. Now, what happens if you want to try lots so of So if you want to try more than one, then um, the annual membership is the way to go. That's $25 for a year. What? It's amazing. It's crazy, That's but awesome. we want to make it available for everybody. I wish I had a baby to carry. Oh, there he is. We uh, can Zoe, show can we do... how to wrap Zoe. Zoe, so yeah. <laughs> That's I've classic. seen people wear their dogs. She's a, she's a puppy. That Does that qualify? Hey guys, if you become <laughs> those people, this might be over. I don't know. <laughs> I have never worn my dog or my cat. I have stuffed animals. Are you saying that I shouldn't wear a Zoe? I got to tell saying? you, I've been tempted because she was like, you couldn't leave her alone for five seconds. And I'm like, oh. I need a doggy carrier. Carrying something. No, I'm not gonna do hey, it. Hey, if, if you're a tea if you're a tea person there. or a dog lover, we love you too, just All in case love. anybody's Aww. wondering. We love you. All the love. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm super anxious to um, have people take part in this because like yeah. I said, I didn't even know about it. Yeah. And what an opportunity, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, guys, it's a game changer. If you're not like a baby wearing aficionado, please give it a try because uh, what? It... Did you use a big word again? <laughs> okay, we'll put the definition on what the are you screen. Do? Just this show is our me new segment. This is our new know. segment called Words by Angie. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> if you haven't tried wearing your baby before, give it a try because it's a game changer. And you might think like the first couple times you try it, Maybe you're sore in different places or maybe the baby doesn't like it. Give it some time um, for you to get used to it and the baby. Because I think once you get it down for cooking, for daily life, for taking care of other kids, for running errands, I think Laundry you're going to love it. vacuuming was what I always wore a baby sling. Mm -hmm. Can we pause for a second? Because it is important. We want to educate everybody. So say that one more time, please. Why am I uh, saying it again? The word. Because I'm fascinated. Aficionado. Cool. I love that. My word. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I read a lot, and every once in a while, you just come up with one that I'm like, huh? huh? <laughs> what does that say about me? Yeah. I, I understood. No, I it was just a chance to give her a yeah. hard time. About what Angie was saying, like, if you've tried it and haven't liked it, one very possible reason is that your baby carrier doesn't fit you yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's um, good point. If it's not the right carrier for your body, you're not going to be comfortable in it. Mm. Um, I tried some of the, like, all of the big brand ones 
um, with my first son and I hated them all. Mm-hmm. And I finally found, I, I liked the May dyes. Um, and so I went that route. That mm-hmm. I'll show you that one. So when they come and try them out, then you, do you guys help them decide if it's fitting right? Like I remember the first time I went and bought shoes as a little kid and this guy pushes his thumbs down and the front of the shoe to see how yeah the and, have at the and that's where i learned how to check shoes so i would literally try a pair of shoes on now and do that so mm-hmm. how do they then know for sure that they're buying the right wrap for them so when you come to something like our group um the educators can help you so we look for things like um how it fits the baby's legs and we look for um the way that it's supporting the mom or or dad okay. or it could be grandma or grandpa or babysitter anyone can wear a baby mm-hmm. they don't have to have a baby i love that dads wear their babies so much yeah i love yeah, that I do too. it's super helpful yeah um and so yeah we uh there's things like if you don't have it adjusted right it can strain your back mm-hmm. and so they're like well it's hurting here okay well let's move your straps a little bit mm-hmm. and make an adjustment and then so they're like oh it's like the hurts. fitting they are they're gonna come and you're mm-hmm. going to try things and you're going to tell them, oh, this one isn't so good for you. Let's try something else. Mm-hmm. Which for that price, that, that is an amazing, is amazing service, you guys. That is so cool. That's like posh. Come go somewhere and get the royal treatment. Yeah, custom seriously. fitting. Like that's an amazing resource to have. So well, it will help anybody. Yeah. You don't have to rent a carrier. And so for free, you can come and get help with your carrier. Wow. Or try on our carriers and see what you like and then go buy something try else. Try on your 100 carriers. Yeah. So, so are we, we going to get a demo non-profit. here today before we're off we the air? We are yeah. going to get a demo, but before we do that, real quickly, you told me about something where these people that have bought 10 different carriers and they really don't like any of them and they don't know what to do with them. You guys actually have something for your project. Mm-hmm. So the Carrying On Project... Um, like the main like passion of the carrying on project is getting baby carriers into the hands of military families. Wow. Um, oh, that's so cool. That's there's great. so much turmoil in their lives with, with moving and one parent being gone when they're gone on duty or mm. boot camps or whatever. And baby carriers can really be a big tool in bonding. And so we want those military families to have that tool and so we get donations and we send them to um military families so if you have extra carriers and you don't know what to do with them and you'd like to donate them you can go to the website you want to tell us that address again um it's tcopmidcolumbia.org so t-c-o-p shannon got it wrong (laughs) we were talking about it earlier so just to clarify that's on the screen so it'll also be in the notes on the youtube video well, let's talk about some of these carriers you brought. Yeah. Okay. So I am not going to be able to strap Angie's baby on here, but can you do that sure. with your yeah. hands free holding a baby? So this one is a May Dye. Because um, I have no clue what I'm doing. Some people have heard, heard it one. referred to as May Tie, but that's... Um, <laughs> I would have called it a Mai Tai. I know, so right? <laughs> that's also so the different styles have kind of their own category or only? Yes. So this is an Asian <clears throat> style carrier. Okay. So that's the category. Um, May dye is the the name of this specific type of carrier. There, so there's a reason that we no longer call it May Tai because it's like polite. It's not okay. culturally, culturally appropriate. Culturally appropriate. That's the word. Culturally it's not culturally appropriate. appropriate. I need okay. to call it a May Tai anymore. So we call it a May Dye. That's the that's the culture's way of saying it. So we've got these straps that you strap on around your waist. And why don't you hand me the baby? Or yeah. hand her the baby? I can help with stuff if you tell me what to do. So tie that around your waist. You're going like to tie it on like an apron. Like puzzle. Like this? Yep. Like this high? And you want it to be in a knot. You double always tie knot, in a knot. A double knot. knot. Yep. So how do you get out of it? You untie it a knot. <laughs> oh, you just turn it around. Rotate oh. it around and untie the knot? Or okay. you get a mom that's really okay. talented at reaching down. <laughs> okay. So then you put your way. baby on. This okay. baby's a little small, but that's okay. And then you're going to pull the straps over your shoulders. And then while keeping one, yeah, while keeping one hand on the baby, you're going to pull the straps behind you and across. So like start with one. You want to turn around so we can see what you're doing? There you go. And you go across and then kind of pull that tight over your shoulder. So that's comfortable. And then... 
Uh oh, what happened You've to my got other one? This one goes the other way. Wait, no. What did you do? Oh, there we go. This one. There we go. Oh, there so it is. Tight. There it is. Underarm. Under your arm. Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay, so she's got a cross on her back. Can and then you so, make, There you go. Once it's good and snug and comfortable up here, you want that to be snug so that you're tight enough on the baby. Then you're going to cross and go under. And then we're going to put this cross under his bum. So is this the one you would wear hiking? Um, I frequently did. And, and then tie it in a knot. Typically this baby's head would, back be, again? Yeah. would be up out of here, right? You said it was yes. a little bit... And is or, it right on the other side? Is it supposed to go around the side of the baby there on this side? Yeah, it's going under the baby's bum. So, okay. It's going over the baby's leg. Cool. Oh, I've got to do it on this side. You're going over the baby's leg here, and that kind of closes off that side. Cool. And then it goes under their leg, and that closes off the sides, um, but it doesn't put pressure on their legs. Cool. And then it's tied in a knot. And if it's way long, you can wrap it around as many times as you want. Yeah. So each one would tail. strap on differently. This is a tie one. The yeah. one yeah, you have I've is never a worn this one this before. This is the main way to tie it, but you can tie it lots of different ways. You can this use it one. on your front. You can use it on your back. You can use it on your hip. This now, one this looks is, super comfortable, it's this, though. I was just going to say, this is nice because it gives you the adjustability and the snugness of a cloth, but it's mm -hmm. not quite as complicated as like the Moby or just the plain strip mm -hmm. of fabric. And isn't or it true that- this, I'm going, yes. um- So this is a woven wrap. Like a bed sheet. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a size six woven wrap. And the sizes have nothing to do with clothing sizes. It's just right. how length, the length. Okay. So that one you kind of create you as you go. Can this one with Tommy on you or? Well, I'm going to have to take him down <laughs> and he might actually be happy. Oh, so oh, baby. woven wrap is great because you can do anything with a woven wrap. And the pacifiers in my A again. <laughs> so, Real life with a baby. That's I will great. You. Look at this. He's right. on camera. So Do this you want is me to take this off Oh, of you? cute. Hi. You I'm just going to hand him to you. Okay. So the nice thing about look, Tommy, oh, it's wrap. your first time on. You famous. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite television. So the nice thing about a wrap is you can do like anything with it. You can put them on your yeah, hips, on your what back, to do with that. <laughs> whatever you want to do. So let's see. What do you guys want to see? Um, Something really ninja-like. Well, ninja-like. <laughs> There you I go, Angie. She back. used the ninja word. Yeah. You gotta say, you gotta say something Show to Shannon now. Back thing. So I am just gonna ask you to spot me just in case. Yeah. I will spot you for sure. So I usually use a, like a bed or a couch or something just to get mm -hmm. things started. So I find my middle marker. Most uh, wraps have a middle marker. It has a little tag it's on it. It's a little tag that shows you where's the center of this big long wrap. And then I'm going to just set him right there on it. Look at that smiley. And this is my uh, cheat. She is, you want to so move I out of the way it, for just a second? I tucked so it see. into his pants. Um, like a diaper? <laughs> like a diaper. So not everybody does it that way, but I do that because it gives me a good seat so that that wrap is under his legs. And then just to make things complicated here. I don't know. You know. <laughs> And then I'm going to Superman him onto my back. Woohoo! Makes me nervous. This is so cool. I'm, I love this. And I'm keeping one hand on the baby at all times. This is Ninja. Look at her go. And then... This is so cool. I'm going to take this one and wrap it over baby's leg and under his foot. Wow, look at this knees. happening. And then over this side. So is this where we say, don't try this at home? Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to do this at home, please have somebody spotting you. Yeah. He's like, Mama, I like this. This is so cute. And then you tie it in a knot. And, and then turn around and let us see. Look at oh, yeah. so cute. Oh, my neck. And I just got to see the grandma in me is freaking out here. Yeah, yeah it looks yeah, it's good. All the way up underneath there. How yeah. does it feel? Legs Pretty good. Are, I just now, have to adjust this. What about their legs? Okay, so you're going over one leg and under the other. Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. not going anywhere. No, he's and not. So he's not going anywhere, but will it be too tight on their legs? Or? Yeah. Usually not. Now, We're not going to turn you, purple or <laughs> if, you turn, if you tie it too tight, you're not going to be comfortable and baby's not going to be comfortable. Hey, buddy. He likes it. It's so cute. So, yep, there he is. Up, oh, other side. Cute. <laughs> Up on my back. Peek. 
Now, the nice Yay. thing about putting them on your back, when you have them on your front, you've got these little T-Rex arms because you can only reach yes. this far because ah, the baby's ah. taken up half your arm. So with them on your back, you can ah. reach all the yeah. way. You can go work in the fields and do whatever you gotta do. You could exercise, look at that. I have taught, so I was a Zumba instructor and I have taught baby wearing Zumba classes. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> you I have love to it. be careful if you're gonna be doing exercising um, to make sure that you're not doing anything that's too vigorous um, for well, the baby. Well, it looks like we just have a couple others, maybe. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold the baby. So I <laughs> should not <laughs> worry. I'm sorry. I still have tension on this. It's the grandma gene, and then, I can't help it. <laughs> Plus, you would probably sit down on the edge of a couch to take this off, probably, mm. normally. Sometimes. Yeah. But this is this is what I do. I got him. I got him. He's got your hair, too. <laughs> it's okay. So I've got a hand on the leg. Good job, Mama. Oh, wow. I love it. Look at you. I know. So good. You get a prize for Poor being our man. helper today. Would yeah. you like me to hold him, and maybe you can demonstrate... The other two with the doll on Angie, or is he going to be okay? Um, he might be okay. Kitten man hand. You hold him. Yeah, he'll be okay, okay until he's not okay anymore. That's what kids are. <laughs> a lot of baby carriers you put on before. Now let's see if this one fits me still. It fit me at one point. So this that, is kind of no, like this a, is super looks weird. Like I've never tube. seen this. This one is called um. So you have two different sizes. No, these are one carrier together. Oh. So this is similar to the Catan, although the Catan is connected with a loop and has a third loop. Okay. This one's just two pieces. <laughs> so it's kind of the Moby idea without so much fabric. You put it on one way. Oh. And then you put it on the other way. Okay. So you pull it on the other way. Okay. So, and then I pull my X down here. And then I'm gonna get the baby. Now that's simple enough that I could probably handle that. <laughs> Put one leg through one side and the other leg in the other side. So his bottom is on the X. He's probably right on my mic too. And then you take the bottom layer. Let's see, <laughs> this one's the bottom. And spread it across. I know. You're such a good And spread sport. it across so that you've got it spreading across his back. <laughs> so it's a lot less fabric. We're getting real sound effects, real baby sound effects. Mama. Hi, baby. Oh, you've got your hand now. So you've got a lot less fabric than the Moby yeah, wrap, but it's very similar. A ninja. Yeah. So this is, Catan is the most common brand of this type of carrier. And they have them in like, like mesh type fabric that I've seen breathes. That. Yeah, yeah, I've and seen so, that. But these ones do have to be sized to the right size. So this so, is the most popular type. It's called this. Well, and I'm assuming that it would kind of. Yeah, it, it's yeah, kind of a backpack style. Yep. yep. And your it, arms go through there. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's called a soft structure carrier. Yep. And you buckle it around your waist. A lot of people call it a buckle carrier. Oh, and I there see that kind of some support down there. Yep. Uh -huh. So yep. that would be the this one. This does give you lots of support. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is the most common one for backpacking and hiking, unless you're using like a still frame carrier. Okay. Yeah. Wow, lots of good information. Um, I think we'll let you off the hook here so you can tend to your baby. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been very informative. Yeah, it's been great it's to have. Out of the it's loop. been great to have the real thing, not yeah. just uh, yes. An Angie's baby seems a little inanimate. <laughs> Angie's baby's like. I told you this baby so, was well trained. That baby is so well trained. <laughs> no fussing from that one. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was super fun. Yeah. Be sure if you have any questions to go to the website ncmidwifery.com and you can download some of the information on safety and get more information on their website and Facebook page. And if you have anybody out there that you know could use this skill set to maybe you could just simply share this video with them, maybe they'll get the hint. Yeah, right. <laughs> Makes me want one. I don't even have a baby to wear. We have so Zoe. Kinda, oh, Stop. <laughs> Not the dog. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thank we'll you. See you next Thank time. you.
Well, thank you for joining us here on season two of More About Birth. Thank you, Dot, for joining us and teaching us about baby wearing. I hope you'll tune in to our YouTube channel on More About Birth, Shannon Bennett, as well as our audio podcast locations. We'll see you here next time. This podcast is intended for educational purposes only. For our full disclosure, please visit nc-midwifery.com and our podcast page.